latest on the investigation. Another cold night ahead, but warmer conditions in store for the weekend. A full forecast ahead. Are you addicted to social media? It might not be your fault. Tonight, the truth about tech. The news starts in 60 seconds. You're watching the station that's working for you. Now, WMAR 2 News at 11. Well, it was a beautiful spring day with lots of sunshine, but guess what? The cold's not done with us yet. Meteorologist Adrian Green is talking about a possibility of a frost tonight. Yeah, I know. It's hard to believe. Here we are at the end of April, and we are still contending with some really cold conditions across the region. Not just a frost advisory, but a freeze warning in effect for the area. Those areas there shaded in purple north and west of the city, that's where we have the freeze warning tonight. And then across the eastern shore, uh, Kent, Queen Anne's, and Caroline County, tonight in blue. That's where we have the frost advisory. So chilly stuff going to be found across the area. And right now we're talking temperatures already in the uh, low to mid 40s across the board. So already seeing those numbers take quite the tumble. Set satellite radar pretty quiet. We'll continue to see mostly clear skies with us as we head throughout the overnight tonight. Tomorrow we start the day off on a chilly note, but we'll be warming things back up into the low 60s for the afternoon with bright sunshine across the area. I'll detail when uh, some Wet weather finally makes its return into the region. That's all coming up in Maryland's most accurate seven-day forecast in just a few. A former state senator, WMAR 2 News, Nadia Singh, live in Parkville. What happened with more on the investigation and more reaction from parents tonight. Nadia? Well, Kelly, right now, investigators tell me they're following. The JV lacrosse. Well, it was an O's game, but at the yard tonight, they were celebrating UMBC in their successful hoop season. Former First Lady Barbara Bush will be laid to rest tomorrow. And today, thousands of mourners have been pouring into St. Martin's Episcopal Church in Houston to pay their respects. Some traveled thousands of miles and were, at one point, greeted by former President George Herbert Walker Bush, her beloved husband of 73 years, and several other family members. The feeling inside is warmth. I met Neil Bush, her son, and uh, I thought it was very impressive that they would have a member of the family there to greet everybody. Mrs. Bush died Tuesday at the age of 92 after a long struggle with congestive heart failure and pulmonary disease. Former presidents Barack Obama and Bill Clinton and current First Lady Melania Trump are scheduled to attend her funeral tomorrow. Okay. Well, former employees from the biggest tech companies in the world are joining forces against the powers they once worked for. Truth about tech was developed by former Facebook and Google employees to put pressure on technology companies to make their products less addictive and manipulative. So how do these tech companies keep us coming back? And it's, uh, we find out it's a lot more simple than you think. It'll be a little chilly, but it, if you bundle up, it might be a good day to go to a national park. Tomorrow morning is going to be chilly, but by the afternoon, temperatures are going to be in the low 60s. So I think it's a lot of people are, are really going to enjoy the weather, even though it's a little cool to start the day. Uh, certainly a lot of opportunities here this weekend to get out and enjoy it. The radar and satellite, it's been really quiet all day long as high pressure's in control, and it'll stay quiet, not just for the rest of tonight, but in through the day tomorrow and then in through the day on Sunday and even Monday. Still going to be talking quiet weather conditions as that high pressure system is just a huge dome uh, of subsiding air and that's going to allow for those cool uh, conditions for the mornings and comfortable conditions for the afternoons and lots and lots of sunshine. Do want to take you out to Havre de Grace today where we had the sunny skies, a gorgeous afternoon, just a few clouds here and there, but overall a just fantastic Friday afternoon and Friday evening across the entire area. Temperatures today though, as mentioned, were a little on the cool side. Our high temperature just came in at 58. That's at BWI Airport. Started off very chilly this morning. We came in at 33 this morning. Normal high temperature is in the mid-60s, so nowhere near that today. Actually, 8 degrees below that here today. We will be warming back up into the 60s tomorrow, but we'll still fall short of that 66 degrees. Temperatures right now are checking in in the low 40s for Bel Air up towards Whitehall. We're at 42 in Sykesville, currently coming in at 48 from Glen Burnie and extending out towards Stevensville, mid 40s in Chestertown and in Preston. So temperatures are already running a little on the cool side. We continue to see those numbers dip down even further.
further throughout the overnight tonight. Down into the uh, upper 30s tonight in the metro with clear and chilly conditions. However, the outlying areas, that's where we'll see temperatures drop off closer to the freezing mark tonight. So especially areas north and west of the city, that's where we'll see temps get close to the freezing mark. In fact, we have a freeze warning in effect for all the areas here shaded in purple north and west of the city. This is the same location that had the freeze warning last night. We're dealing with it again tonight as those temperatures, as mentioned, dip down into the low 30s and in some cases down into the upper 20s here tonight. Across sections of the eastern shore, you see the areas here shaded in blue. Kent, Queen Anne's, Caroline County. Yeah, I'm looking at you guys. You're in a frost advisory for tonight. So here we are at the end of April. and We are still contending with some very chilly conditions. We had that cold front move through yesterday. Behind it, the cool air continues to spill on in. Future cast nice and quiet for the whole day tomorrow. We have sunny skies, wall to wall sunshine and a really just a quiet weather day. But we start the day off pretty chilly. Look at the numbers for tomorrow morning. If you're an early riser, you'll see those temperatures in the low 30s. And then by the afternoon, 62. That's where we're heading. Bright sunny skies across the area looking pretty good. And we continue with that uh, nice sunny trend on Sunday as well. 64 for Sunday's high temperature. Still seeing some sun on Monday, but increasing clouds with rain chances as we head towards the middle of the week. You're watching WMAR2 News, home of Maryland's most accurate weather team. Well, a loss in the music industry tonight. Grammy-nominated Swedish DJ Avicii was found dead in Oman. Known for his grueling touring schedule, he retired from performing in 2016 after a series of health issues, including acute pancreatitis. Avicii's publicist said in a statement that the family is devastated and they ask for privacy at these times. These images are from a concert that he did in his home country of Sweden in 2016. DJ Avicii was just 28 years old. Well, the top two movies at last weekend's box office, Rampage and A Quiet Place, are expected to slug it out for the top spot this weekend as well. But there are three new movies that are going to try to make their mark. David Daniel has a preview. The corners of a city street, a table and a cafe seat. My home team is everywhere I go. Go everywhere, got you. All right, check out what was swimming near Ocean City this afternoon. That is a whale visiting the pier. <laughs> Troy Bickle from Pennsylvania was fishing when the whale swam right up to the pier, bumped into it and said, see ya, swam off. Whales are normally found along the coast of the Atlantic, but not that close to Ocean City. Wow, can I, you imagine seeing that? I can't even. I. I... No. It's kind of crazy. <laughs> well, weather-wise for us here this weekend, we have a lot of sunshine on the way. A chilly start tomorrow, but a nice finish. We'll be climbing into the low 60s for the afternoon, and we keep things in the 60s for Sunday as well with more sunshine in the offing. Uh, our next chance for rain doesn't come in our way until Tuesday and Wednesday, so have a lot of good weather on hand. All right, Jimmy Kimmel Live is coming up next, and uh, we hope you have a great weekend. American Idol on America's Network, ABC, Sundays and Mondays. You can win two tickets to American Idol in Los Angeles, plus a two-night hotel stay. For rules and to enter, visit WMAR2news.com slash Baltimore Idol.